color in the world. Re bad minions should be red. <coughs> Here's why. Because here, this chart by Dr. David Hawkins, this emotion and mind body vibration chart, purple is the best, and do you see red? This should be red. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> Every day, my mom says, stay in the purple zone, honey. But mom, it's so hard to get in the purple zone that every day I have to go. Yeah, you can see that breeze pretty hard. Your goal is to say above love, which is 500. Try to do joy, peace, or lemon, which is even the best. I will work hard every day and practice on this chart. I stay bottom the most of the time, so I will practice and work hard to get to the top, which is really exciting because if I do get to alignment or even bigger, my mom will be so proud and will take me to places for rewards, presents, even get me cool stuff like water guns, whatever that is. <laughs> because these positive habits are good for your health, they make you more happy, and you don't have to worry about the negative things anymore. Because I really love these feelings, so I will work hard and do my best. Hello, this is Yaya's mom speaking. Thanks to Christy Sheldon for this chart. As you can see, when you are having a negative feeling, such as fear, anger, grief, shame, your body vibrates at a low frequency. As you are having a positive feeling, such as willingness, courage, love, joy, peace, your body vibrates at a high frequency, which is good for your mind and body, also good for everyone around you. I have this chart posted in our kitchen and also in Yaya's bedroom. We have been discussing for almost two years. It's hard to walk the talk, but it's good to have a constant visual reminder and practice often. I can see the positive change in Yaya slowly and surely. I believe building self-awareness at an early age will be very beneficial for building emotional intelligence. Please come back to watch my next episode about 8Q, what I learned from kids who risked their lives to go to school. Thank you.